Today we're talking about air quality in Klamath Falls starting right now. Hi, I'm Darlene Humphreys. I recently had someone reach out to me to point out that she had done a search on the air quality in Klamath Falls and it's horrific. We are the 112th worst air quality in the United States. News to me. And why hadn't I done a video about that? So warning people about how horrible the air quality in Klamath Falls is. Okay, I will. I also did a search and found the website she was referring to, and it just so happens that website sells air purification equipment. Shocking. And if she had bothered to read the article rather than just do a search and grab the paragraph that had been cited and talking about Klamath Falls, she would have realized that in the article it talks about how these the air quality is horrific when the bootleg fire was going on when the 242 fire was going on. Of course, when there's a humongous wildfire in the area, the air quality in Klamath Falls goes down. As a general rule, when there is not a wildfire, the air quality in Klamath Falls is pretty good. Matter of fact, today, let, oh, let's, I, I pulled it up real quick so I could look. Today, it is 60. 60 is the air quality today. Generally, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. If there's a wildfire, of course, the air quality is going to go down. And so I went on, continued reading on this website about the air quality in Klamath Falls, and it talks about how it's a vehicle-centric area. Yeah, it sure is. There's, I, It would be very difficult to get along in Klamath Falls if you didn't have a car. Of course, there's public transportation. We have bike lanes and all kinds of fun stuff that goes on here so there is to reduce the dependence on vehicles but it's also a four seasons community i like to bike as much as the next person i'm not doing it in january i'm driving so yeah it is very vehicle centric community also this website cites the rural component of klamath falls and the dependence on uh, gas combustion engines and diesel engines to the, the drive the uh, economic factors in Klamath Falls. Also true. Rural community. Lots of farms. Farms have tractors and equipment and trucks that run on gas combustion engines and diesel engines. Sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. And the other thing that this had uh, this website had cited was the base, which, you know, the base has airplanes and those are also engines that have exhaust pipes. But anyways, a website that sells air purification equipment is probably not your best source of information. I went on a DEQ website and attempted to like do a little bit more research on this, but it's really clunky. It's It'll show you, the website will show you like the air quality on a certain day. There isn't like a nice graph that shows, you know, a, a trend or anything. So you know, the DEQ website was sort of useless. And the and one of the government websites, it's either the counties or the cities, has a whole page about the air quality in Klamath Falls and how they've got programs to reduce the dependence on wood and wood burning devices or for people that qualify that have a wood stove that does not have a DEQ, it's an older stove that does not have a DEQ tag where you can get some assistance on getting a wood burning stove in that does have a catalytic converter and it does reduce the emissions and it has the DEQ tag on it. So there are programs available. There's incentives to those that qualify to remove any non-compliant wood burning devices or reduce dependence on wood. So the, the county is taking steps, city and county are taking steps to try to improve the air quality in Klamath Falls. And it does go down a little bit in the winter because of wood burning devices. But as a general rule, if there isn't a horrific raging wildfire in Klamath Falls, the air quality in Klamath Falls is pretty good. And if there is a horrific raging wildfire in Klamath Falls, you probably want to jump on that website and deal with one of those air purification things that they sell that are talking about horrible air quality is in Klamath Falls. So there's a video on the air quality in Klamath Falls. Thank you for joining me.